what's happening everybody today we are going to be working on the exhaust again uh, i ended up developing another rattle after adding some chassis bracing and that has to do with like stuff that you'll study about in mechanical engineering and vibration mechanics so every object has what's called a uh, natural frequency that is the frequency that it tends to vibrate at uh, when it's excited so uh, take a guitar string for example depending on the shape and the mass so depending on the thickness of the string if you excite the string or strike it or pluck it it's going to naturally vibrate at a certain frequency and then that creates the sound the same thing happens with any object in this case uh, after adding some chassis bracing that's probably changed the natural frequency of the car and and also perhaps uh, the fixtures for the exhaust and so I'm getting a rattle just when the engine is cold only when I'm idling it gets in the way of me enjoying my music so we're gonna be fixing it and I'm not really gonna change the bushings or anything I did that last time and it actually helped solve the rattle this time I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of uh, insulation right around here in between the exhaust tip and the bumper which is actually where it's hitting and vibrating so I'm just gonna add that heat shielding, which has quite a bit of cushion in it, and that cushioning is going to help reduce the rattling. So here it is, it's just a big sheet that I picked up on AliExpress, really cheap, um, and you can see that it has a bit of cushion, and this is supposed to be heat resistant, so it shouldn't kind of uh, soften up and fall off. First thing I've done is undone the exhaust hanger, so the exhaust is now hanging a little bit loose, and uh, it's easier for me to just pull it down and get a bit of space to work there. Before you do any work on the exhaust, especially when you're this close to touching it. Make sure it's had a chance to cool down. Don't work on the exhaust when it's still hot. So here we go. I've just cut it with a pair of scissors uh, to size. I'm not too worried about it kind of being shaped nicely. And I've stuck it just where I know for sure the exhaust tip is gonna be hitting. And I've already cleaned up the bumper um, with some parts cleaner to make sure this adheres properly. So let's peel off the backing and stick it on. <laughs> 